We are Igers and Krista, an action-crazy Latvian couple who took on this monster project to restore an old track. To hear our full story, click on this video. Welcome to the first episode of our truck build series. We already knew what will be the new interior of this beast of a van, as Igers had made the SketchUp plan. However, to be 100% sure, we decided to make a fake layout out of cardboard, with the exact measurements. This is an amazing way how to get the feeling and also to avoid mistakes at the later stage. <laughs> Šī ir virtuva zona, tā būs izliedne, tā būs virsmiņa, šeit slēpsies pots, kurš iznāks ārā, izbīdīsies ārā šeit, tad šī milzīgā telpa ir duša, kas kalpos arī kā žāvēšanas istaba, tad tā mums būs gulta. Skapis, tad varētu būt pat virtuvis skapīši, tad te būs skapis, kur drēbas kariņi no šīnas. Es mums kaut kāds atvilknītas, tad šeit virsma, plītiņa, krāsniņa, tad mēs kūkus tepsim, te būs ledus skapis, un te būs krāsnis. Un Netflix. Izskatās, ka visam vietas pietiek. mission was to remove windows but Krista said what is underneath those bubbles so that's what's going on here we could not wait to see whether the problem is actually a bigger problem than we thought it is oh I uh, don't know what to think don't know what to say uh, the place where we scraped a bit of paint off where the bubbles were we could poke a finger through and now we're looking on the inside and it looks like the whole roof basically is very rusty. Oh my god. The other side is here. Well we need a new roof. <laughs> as long as we don't need a new van. <laughs> okay. Keep calm, it's a project, it's a project. Don't get distracted. That's all we're gonna say. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's not the worst case scenario, because probably worst case scenario would be... Would be like this. But that's not the whole van. So there's places um, where it's a lot. And both sides sills like the drainage cells or whatever they're called. The 14 meters need to be replaced, uh, completely rusted to shit. And the roof itself is in uh, funny condition. So I have this idea of just welding panels back in, which sounds easy, but uh, is it? I have high hopes in me, but how is it gonna really go? I don't know. The van is in a condition which is a lot worse than we thought it is. 
and it will basically set us back on the overall project. The plan was get it done by December. Now it looks like I'm going to spend a couple of months living constantly here and just weld like a little goblin. Now all the plans have been focused on welding and I need to learn how to weld. So that's what today is all about and possibly this whole week. So what I'm planning is to cut out a little piece out of a sheet metal and then weld it back in and then grind it all down so that you can't see that it's been welded back in. If I succeed on that, what can go wrong? So, my very first welds. It's, uh, yeah, I need more training. It's poking through. Um, basically, it's too hot and the metal is too thin. I need gas. Gas cools it down and it's just poking through in my case. Last time we left you with the depressive message that everything is bad, there's lots of rust and not much has changed in that area apart from the fact that we are a bit more positive now. Uh, we have had a few consultations with some friends and uh, non-friends, uh, but overall some helpful people. And they have said that everything is doable and is actually not that bad. If we have time and patience, then we can go ahead with the project because we were at the stage of can we actually pull this off financially and mentally because it just looked really bad. Um, now we're full of energy, um, but we have lost quite some time. We actually got a pretty good and new welding machine from some friends and um, we've been playing around with that but it turns out that that welding machine is not meant to weld delicate metals such as body work so we've been trying out various welding machines and um, conclusions were don't save money on welding machine and buy a good one basically we should have started off with that as many there are people there's as many opinions about welding machines uh, one of our mates said use this one it's good enough it doesn't have to be expensive it will get the job done another friend came around and said anything below 1k is basically rubbish and it's not welding it's just poking around and joking uh, I've been into some shops and they've been giving me advice and say buy this buy that and um, so basically my budget for welding machine went from 300 euros up to 500 euros and then I nearly bought one for 800 euros uh, which costs actually a grand so that's where I've lost two weeks uh, driving around and uh, stressing my wife out and um, and can I actually weld and all these all these things but um, now we're at the point that I went to a shop to buy a new one. I just I just couldn't put that money down for, for something that I would use for a few months and then uh, put it in the shed to collect dust because the resale value wouldn't be that great either. And I asked them, can I rent one? And they said, yes, you can rent this piece of crap that they have, uh, which back in the days cost quite some money. And now it looks like it has seen better days. And just try it, see what it does, because it will get the job done. And it will actually set you back only 250 euros. So that's where I'm at now. I've got it and I'm back to the warehouse to try out my skills with this um, historical machine. It looks hideous, but I've seen what the guy did in the shop, and I must say, he did a pretty good job. Atnesīs man dzelzs gabalu, es nezinu, kur es viņu atstāju. Tur man jāzīt. Nu, jā, es gāju pie tev, es tev palīdzētu, tagad tev jāpalīdz man. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, friends. Um, apparently now the sound will be better because i have a microphone and there is a cable following me a couple of days spent on this table um, i've been welding little pieces of metal together and one of my mates said i'm ready to move on to the body so this is how my seams look like i think we're ready
Every day is like a roller coaster. I wake up all energized and excited about what is about to happen, but then in the evening it all turns into a horrible mess and depression. I started welding the van yesterday and I only did a small little piece, but it took me all day, easy, eight hours straight I would say. I can't get used to the settings of the welder, so basically now it looks like it's welded, but if you look from the other side, oh shit, then it's not getting through. So back at the workbench folks, gonna be welding tiny pieces of metal together till I get the settings right. It's the third week into welding while well, learning to weld and messing about and I'm still not there. Why so sad? <laughs> it's not happening. What is not happening? Welding is not happening. Welding is harder than I thought. <laughs> wow. 24-7. What else is happening this summer?